Hey, y'all. My first guest is here, Dylan. Nice to meet you guys, the internet. (laughs) Eventually, Dylan may create. She's very smart. She has lots of good perspectives, and she will maybe at one point make her own YouTube, and I will keep you in the loop. She knows about politics and economics and stuff. She's really smart. Thank you, boo boo. And it's her birthday. 26. 26. 26. (laughs) Okay. So, anyways, I invited Dylan to be here in this moment because I have something very important to talk about. As you may know, a recent video was about circumcision and the need, you know, that, that, the theme of that video was kind of how men can access their femininity. Yeah. And the theme of this video, <laughs> which is, you know, a whole other concept can be about the yin and the yang and how we all, both people have both yin, male, men and women have yin and yang. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing I've been thinking about is actually the way that a person is yin or yang I think it just relates to their authenticity. So that might be gendered. Your yang, if you're a woman, might be fem- female still. You know, it might not look the way that it would look for a man. And a man's yin might not look the way it would look for a woman. And more than that, it's just each, it's an expression part of each person's individuality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to let you guys do I, I like can't. A lot there. I like. <laughs> oh my god! Dylan is now twenty six, so we are here, yeah. and Dylan's. I guess I'm making this as an example. I love you. Mwah. Thanks for being freaking wonderful. Yeah. So I'm the reason I'm I'm doing this in this exact moment of inspiration is because I'm here in Dylan's house during Corona. Both Dylan and I have moved back to the homes that we grew up in. And it has been extremely freaking powerful for both of us as women (laughs) to be back in our, in the homes that we grew up in. And and not only that, but to be, we both have relatives nearby. We both have friends nearby. We have people nearby who have known us since we were little and who like really love us. And really want us to be, you know, protected and safe and just, you know, we are cherished essentially in back where back in our roots. <laughs> and, you know, as women, because that's kind of, you know, I talked about circumcision, now I'm talking about a female thing. Um, we both very much struggled going out into the world and having to be severed from our roots and severed from our hearth fire, you know, (laughs) and having to go make it entirely on our own, build new relationships. It's not, you know, for me, I feel safety. And I wonder if this is for all people or all women and just, I'm, please comment any of your thoughts below. If you're a man and this applies to you, comment, whatever. I want to hear all of it. (laughs) But I know from my experience, that security comes from people really genuinely knowing and loving me. So being thrust into the world um, was very hard. I had some very unsafe experiences. And I put myself into situations where I was seeking that kind of security again. So whether it was somebody who I was dating and I felt secure with their family, you know, maybe they... (laughs) There were other issues involved, but I was really seeking that security again. And you feel me, girl? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here wondering um, how much the world in which we live now has preached to us the story that in order to succeed, you must become independent, you must fly the coop, you must get your own home, you must get your own work, you know, create your own life. That's that's success. And I am wondering if for a woman, 
and and once again you know every i won't even say that because some people have different home experiences where maybe those home experiences aren't safe or they can't be allowed to be independent from within their home so every situation is different <laughs> but as a basic idea and i want women obviously to be like free <laughs> and happy but i'm wondering if part of our power comes from that security I mentioned earlier of being surrounded by community who love us, you know, being cherished and protected and safe. And when, when we're severed from that, it takes so much more energy, so much more social, everything. Not only are you getting a job, not only are you doing all those things, but you're also having to create an entire new knit, knitting around yourself, a new network around yourself. And... <clears throat> I guess, yeah, if I were to make a metaphor, well, not a metaphor, but okay, so I will share, I'll share this, this story about a people, a tribe in China, an ancient who are still around today, I believe they are called the Nari and I can link them below about them. But essentially in this society, it's matriarchal, although there's this misconception about matriarchy that like men are put down. It really doesn't work that way, <laughs> as you will as you will easily see. In the in the society, when a girl comes of age, she is given a room in her mother's house, <clears throat> which is called her flower bedroom, <laughs> and this room has a door to the family courtyard, and it has a private door to the street. So essentially, the people in the society, both men and women, have full, like, autonomy. If they want to take lovers at night, they can. Nobody asks questions. Nobody knows. Um, and then by the next morning, sunrise, that person has to be gone, and they continue their life in the family household where they are. And remember, this person is coming into the girl's home, into their place where they are loved and they are safe it's their and they are surrounded by their family and community yet they are also allowed to be independent and be making these kinds of choices so already i'm like okay that sounds like a pretty good scenario <laughs> you know they're not getting kicked out now any children that um a girl has are then raised by it within her mother her grandmother's household and the her brothers they're never sexually intimate or anything like that, but they kind of raise the, they help raise the children of the household. And um, the men also have to like, they sleep in either their lovers' beds or in outer buildings, not in the main courtyard area. Cause there's really a lot of autonomy, you know, like that is like the safe space and it's always kept that way. So, you know, obviously certain people, modern people of the, were very upset about this and tried very hard to destroy this system. It was very threatening that such a world could exist, but they, I do believe the Nari people have prevailed for hundreds of years. And I think that this is a very powerful thing to think about because I'm, I'm curious about imagining a world where like a girl and maybe if you're a boy and you feel like this is good for men too like i want to hear i'm almost done but that you know what if our our world worked where that a girl always knew that she had a safe place in the household where she had her room she had the love and support of her community her family her friends and she could go and obviously become at, you know, still work the job that she wanted to work and be independent, you know, and be a contributor, contributing to that household still, but, you know, essentially a free, a free agent within the security and the hearth and the foundation of her family, which has, you know, her community, which has provided so much security and she didn't have to worry about, you know, I just, I just think that there's this missing link here where in, in the drive to become 
independent in the in the drive to like to get our power and to get equality to men and autonomy and freedom in all these kinds of ways which is obviously very important freedom to work freedom to choose who you want to be with all these things you know i just i do want to deeply inquire into though the place where actually a woman gets her power from being in her home and being secure and how much energy and for millennium not millennium but for you know since agriculture how many times women have been forced into to leave the security of their family into a man's home if if the, now all of this of course i'm basing on if that home is a solid secure loving place you know if it's not that's a whole other situation fire just went down oh yeah But um, I'm curious about people's thoughts about this. Um, if, if your heart resonates and you think, you know, I think you, you agree that part of your power would be preserved. And if you're a man, do you agree with this for yourself? Does this apply to you as well? Um, yeah. Let me know. Send Dylan lots of love for her birthday.